I've always been into shooting images. I don't know where that came from, but it's as far back as I can remember. And that went on for all through high school. I was always shooting everything, every family party, every time I hung out with friends. It was just constantly capturing the, the world around me. One of the very special things about the Chicago industry is I think there is this level of support and encouragement. And by working and being able to be on staff at MK Films as both a producer and later a director, they totally made space for me to shoot Fish Out of Water, to later shoot Soul Survivor. They knew that this was important, they knew it would be good for my career, ultimately hopefully good for the company, but they knew that this was critical, that I wouldn't be happy unless I was doing this stuff. I think being a woman I'm more conscious of when I'm directing on a TV commercial, and it's just something I've learned to embrace and something I've learned to push through and own and I'm trying to do for all the other women who want to direct behind me, you just have to. But I think when you're directing a, a documentary film, you can kind of build your own team. So every opportunity I can when I'm in control, I will try to book females. And so for my films, absolutely. I'm going to make sure 90% of those jobs are going to females. Well, Fish Out of Water has, it's been really, you know, one of the joys of my life to see how that's been received. The fact that people are kind enough to write me a note and say that this has affected their family or it's helped their a relationship in their family or whatever it is. It's a beautiful gift as a filmmaker because you actually know that your film is doing hopefully what it was tended to do as a tool to heal, at least in the case of Fish Out of Water. I don't think there'll ever be anything I do in this world that will affect as many people as Fish Out of Water has. I kind of have learned that in terms of making a film because it takes so much time and passion and energy, it's almost like falling in love with someone. You can't like choose who you fall in love with. It just sort of happens, you don't know why. So it's like any topic, like I need to just sort of like, oh, suddenly I didn't realize, but I'm in love with it. And then boom, you're in. And that's kind of what happened with Soul Survivor. Soul Survivor was, it, uh, there was a tremendous amount of pressure and, and terror I always felt once we were done with that movie, because I knew that these stories have never been told and I wanted so badly to do right by the survivors. I really believe in my heart of hearts that eventually this film would like get, get traction and get steam and then, it happened, Michael Moore watched it and he invited us to premiere at his film festival. And then that same week, CNN wanted to see a screener and then they loved it and they acquired the film. So it's, it's been well received. I think the survivors are very happy with the final product and I'm just so happy that it's getting out there, you know? And I realized that, you know, documentaries and filmmaking itself, of course it's about telling a story and creating a project, but it can also be a vehicle for healing and change and you can use your camera almost as a prop to, to to try to you know make a difference in the world and that has been um, oh, just it's been so fulfilling